Let's create a new track by double clicking at the bottom. And I'm going to control click here and reassign the track. And in my mixer layer of my environment, we'll see this gate transformer because we enable the checkbox. So now when I play notes on this track, I'm going to switch to my other screen set. It's going to be converted to volume information and send it to this pad instrument. Let me create a little monitor object here. And I'm going to cable it in the pathway so we can see. Let me just cable this into there. And watch what happens when I hit a note on my keyboard. It generates a note that gets transformed to a volume event. And the second data byte of the volume event is based on the velocity. That's the default mapping in the transformer. And then the note off reverts it to zero. So I'm going to play my track now. Let me cable this into the pad instrument. And as I play my track, when I trigger notes on my keyboard, you'll see the volume slider jump here based on the velocity that I'm hitting my keys with. <laughs> So based on the velocity, let's switch back to the arrange window now. And let's try for fun copying this bass track to our gate track. Now the pad will get gated exactly in time with the bass. Let's try offsetting it. A little bit more. And let's lower the velocities. Notes to volume. 